Hey, this is Richard at Netgear AV, ISE 2025. We like to show you the innovations that we bring to the AV over IP market. Let's start with our core product, the AV line switches. What you see here is a hybrid network where the top switches can do Grandmaster Clock 702110. And what is connected to it are switches that are more targeted at the commercial AV market, where you want to do one gigabit uh, PoE, AV over IP protocols, we support all of them, literally all of them. And that together gets you a hybrid network uh, that is popular now in the world of, um, for example, live entertainment, events. Uh, there we see always the need to do broadcast stuff, synchronization and timing, as well as commercial AV application. Another example of that would be an enterprise studio in a, in a large company where everyone uses Teams and Zoom and uses audio video in the meeting rooms. But sometimes the CEO wants to address everyone and then they broadcast that and they use enterprise grade equipment using uh, what we show here, SMT2110 or IPMX. Now, so what's the, the consideration when you do 2110 IPMX? What do you need to consider to make the best product for yeah. that? So, old friend. Uh, yeah. I'll come to you later, sorry. Yeah. We're still rolling, right? So yeah. there's a consideration. If you need clocking on your network because you do broadcast, then you go 702110 or IPMX or NDI. The moment you say, well, it's more of a commercial AV type of application or audio over IP, uh, you don't use that version of clocking. You use uh, what, what is commonly used by the protocols like AES67 or, or Dante. Um, that, that's fairly popular. So we can do both. We can also do both on a hybrid network. That's what we're demoing here. The video distribution you see here behind me is done by IPMX, but we also show NDI. We have a couple of products that are new. We have Wi-Fi 7 access point, uh, dual band and tri-band. Yep. Um, those are made um, to integrate with an AV installation. So you use it for control or maybe an access point in the meeting room. Um, we also have a router that's visible here. It has the same form factor, so it looks nice in a rack with the AV products. The router is dual WAN, so you can hook it up to your normal internet and maybe a 5G router. You have a 10 gig SFP plus connection to the rest of the network, and it can handle all that you need. For the corporate resellers, it means they can use a router to separate the traffic AV over IP, the, the multicast, from the campus network, because that makes the CIOs nervous. They don't want all that chatter, all that broadcast on the corporate network. So this is a great separation. Now, to do all of that, you need to switch. The software is built into the switch. It has a web browser interface that we call the AV user interface. We also have a Windows controller that allows you to access all the switches on the network. Now, that is even easier. You can deploy with one click a profile for a particular AV over IP protocol across all those switches in the network. So our goal is to make deployments of AV over IP easy for all the manufacturers that are here at ISE. Out of the 370 we support, there are over 200 here that work with Netgear. So you'll see on any booth here at ISE, there's a Netgear switch, over 200. And they all pick it because we make it uh, easier to deploy their solutions so they can concentrate on their technology. We always say AV people should focus on what they're good at, which is user experience. They shouldn't be bothering and tinkering with the network. We are the plumber. We can do the plumbing for you, so you don't have to do it. That is our uh, spiel. Now, let, let's take you to a few other products. and. Uh, so it's a, it's, a great, it's a great deal for Netgear when everybody talks about AV over IP and you're really enabling the, the highest quality of this part, yep. right? It is amazing what you can do when you listen to your customers, right? We're not sitting in a bunker and just producing something that we hope will sell, no. We ask them, what problem can we solve? Point is at the guy that has the pain, whether it's an integrator or a manufacturer, and um, a lot of the integrators talk about the enormous amount of volume of work that they have. Yes, that is a luxurious problem to have, but it still means if you're called in to a job and you have to deploy 100 meeting rooms, well, you need some automation, right? So we brought new management 
of the Pro AV router and the Wi-Fi included with the switches. So all of this can be managed with a single pane of glass. The M4350 series of switches is relatively new and it has these two models with 702110. We will continue to bring out products. We have a, quite a, a roadmap of products coming out in the AV over IP space because it really has become a very successful, also pretty big business for Netgear. You could see it here on the booth where we continuously have 25 to 30 conversations at the same time and, and no time to eat a sandwich, but it's good. Everyone understands that there is a problem that needs to be solved in AV over IP, which is multicast. And we really understand how to solve that, how to do the IGMP well, and help you with all these network settings, which if you wanted, there's more than 10,000 settings you can do in a layer three switch. And if you don't know what button to push, it's like going into the cockpit of an airplane and then trying to fly it, right? You don't know what to do. So to we really help with that, so shall we look at yeah. the uh, management interface? So, so uh, Here, ultra show, low show latency is one of the things people yeah. want, right? They, people want to have very low latency when they switch to IP. Yeah. It needs to be nearly instant, right? Yeah, it's funny, right? When you talk to audio people, they discuss latency and they talk about milliseconds. So we don't even do microseconds latency, we do nanoseconds latency. In the whole world of networking, the network is not, never the problem. Because our products are a million times faster than audio products. For video, zero latency means you don't miss a frame, right? So you're faster or, than a frame. Yeah, so even if you do a frame rate of 250, the switch has no problem doing that. It's just you need to program it well, correctly, and make sure there's no collision or other traffic in the way. Less than four milliseconds or something latency. Yeah, we, we can do a, a million times faster if necessary. Video latency, like what SDVOE does, is virtually zero. So it's like uh, almost non-compressed HDMI over Ethernet. So in the, the medical world and in opera houses, for example, you typically find that kind of uh, technology because the opera singer doesn't want to see a delay when she sees herself on the screen and she hears her voice. She doesn't want to miss the director. So there, that's where you use zero latency video. Now, for a Zoom call, it doesn't matter, right? Five, seven milliseconds is okay. The human ear can hear a difference of seven milliseconds, right? That becomes stereo if it's left and right. So with audio, ideally you try to stay under that, but it's not a huge issue. Now we hear from the manufacturers, if the video is bad in a meeting room or, or maybe in a signage, for example, that's okay. But if you can't hear the audio right, you cannot understand the person speaking, that is a problem. So we really see a shift to investing in audio over IP solution, get rid of these cheap audio bars that people bought a few years ago during COVID. So we work a lot with our neighbors from Audinate, the owners of the Dante protocol, to provide switches that can help them deploy quickly. Now, Audinate has 400 customers, companies that make audio over IP products, and we support all of them with our Dante profiles built into the switches. We do the same for NDI, Creston MVX, Shure, AMX, QSIS, all of the large protocols and, and ecosystems are supported. On the audio side, it's AES67, it is AVB, it is Dante, and uh, now we're also supporting the integration that are with SMT2110. So it's a great combination. And uh, right here, uh, you're doing some demonstrations with uh, the partners, customers, having a look at your, yep. your solution. What, what you're seeing on the screen is Netgear Engage, our multi-switch controller. What Laurent yep. has done is he logged into one particular switch and he's showing the configuration on, on that switch. You can do both things. So you can do a network profile across multiple switches or you do a network profile on one switch and you can do both during the controller. So now you have only one screen to look at, which is Netgear Engage. And uh, what's on this screen here? Is that the same Engage? So here we see a configuration with a couple of network profiles. So is this visible? All right. Let me uh, show you. Um, Oh, it's already visible. So you see, there's a whole bunch of profile templates that you can pick. 
And we work with manufacturers to make things easier. So one of the latest ones is Ellen and Heath for their uh, front of house um, uh, audio equipment. It's specific, it's not just simple Dante, there's more, they, they have a couple of uh, technologies. You can deploy all those technologies in the interface. Every protocol gets its own VLAN. And within that, you can integrate the settings, right? Some are preset, but you can also create your own profiles. So this spread like wildfire. When we started doing that, that was really a huge success factor. So what we do now is talk to all the manufacturers and is there a problem we can solve? So um, the latest uh, companies we added in here are like LIA Professional, uh, Linear Research on the audio side. There's video companies on the, on the broadcast side. And now with IPMX coming up, you see more manufacturers joining the... Uh, there's yeah. some partner companies here maybe? Yeah, there's a bunch, um, this, the whole industry. If you count them, there's the whole industry. It's the 370 manufacturers we work with. The one we announced last Wednesday is NVIDIA. They're not on the list yet. So they're using our switches for um, 702110 in the media space where they're active. And uh, you're showing some examples of some... Uh, yeah, so we demo uh, equipment from many manufacturers, our Wi-Fi access point, our memberships, cameras from uh, different manufacturers yeah. using different protocols. In this case, it's NDI, full yeah. NDI, NDI HX, Dante AV, and uh, soon, uh, hopefully, uh, IPMX cameras. We have a collaboration with Poly for their meeting room, an all-in-one solution where we add a switch that's the same size as their product. It's mounted behind the display in the meeting room, which makes it super easy to install. So the installers can turn around quickly. As they say, get in, get out, and get paid, right? That's how, uh, how they need to be treated. And um, yeah, they deploy different solutions that all run over the same switch. So we make this part also easy for them. And here I see a, a yep. Plexus AV box. Yes, Plexus AV is one of our partners on the IPMX side. They're the first ones that came out with a really commercial AV type uh, encoder decoder next to Matrox, who's a bit more on the media broadcast uh, side. Plexus will uh, focus uh, purely on the commercial AV market. So we show it here. You don't even need a controller software for it because it's built in. I like the colors, it's the same as ours, so uh, it looks cute together. But what we demo here is that this part is the non-clock part on the same network as the 702110. So you can do both at the same time. That is definitely an innovation. And we demoed it for the first time in Tokyo um, on the InterB show together with Matrox. We can already see a lot of interest. So I invite you to check out companies like Pixel Q. They're part of the Novastar group. They use 702110 to move media around to big LED wall uh, controllers and they can drive with their solution one billion pixels at the same time, 60 frames per second. Now the amount of data that goes around there is massive. So they're using 702110, 25 gig pipes between the media server and these uh, switchers and the controller. So if you want to do more of these switches because you have more LED uh, walls, for example, if you're the lucky owner of a football stadium, look at uh, uh, Barcelona Stadium or Bernabeu, Real Madrid, they have this stuff. The entire football stadium, all the displays there, become one virtual canvas, which means with one media solution, you can uh, address any pixel in the entire stadium. So that is software-defined networking at its finest. Um, we love that that innovation awesome. is coming. So look at Lang AG. 22 Netgear network switches in their booth, managing the entire, uh, probably most beautiful booth uh, at the entire ISE, with a waterfall made out of uh, LED uh, displays that are transparent. Uh, it's stunning. Mox if you wave. See it. And, and how about a company like Megapixel uh, making also the engines, and everybody needs to yeah. consider how to connect everything. The yeah. super optimal, they talk about 100 gigs. And you have systems yes. that do the 100 gigs. Yeah, there are three large partners we have in the space. Novastar, Brompton, and Megapixel. All of them move to 702110 now and also work on IPMX. There will be more announcements in the next half a year. Other companies in the display industry will be moving there. Um, now you can either say, well, 
I take a signal in where I replace HDMI with 702110. You can go one step further and use software to take the 702110, 25 gig or 100 gig signal if you want to do 8K and bring it um, directly as IP to the receiver board. So that's something that Megapixel does. They use IP between the, uh, the switcher box and the receiver panels in or behind the LED. Of course, we like that because, well, it's networking, right? That's our business. Well, Novastar have their own uh, proprietary technology. Um, fact is that all of this will move to IP because IP is the only technology that can handle this volume. So we love that those planets are colliding, right? Planet IT, Planet Commercial AV, Planet Broadcast, Planet Live Events. As you can see here this year at ISE, all these four are coming together and that's exciting. And this video is awesome. I don't want to make it too long, but I'm just thinking uh, low latency AI, interactive displays. Yeah. Uh, you want to get uh, uh, like virtual world, uh, immerse yourself. Yep. And yeah, you have, you need, this yeah. all becomes possible now. Yeah, so the, the software had to enable it. The hardware was already there, but had to be integrated. So if you want to do an immersive experience, like a large room that's entirely made out of LED pixels, well, you need a whole bunch of software to run it and you need software distribution. And then you need someone to design it and make it beautiful. Now, all of that is happening over the last couple of years and you really see it come out. Then you need a very rich customer to buy it off of you. Now, in come the Middle East um, things like the, the Koran Museum in, uh, in uh, Dubai, for example. Other museums um, in, the, in the Middle East are following the Olympic Games in Paris. A lot of that was running on 702110, including the fireworks and the lighting, because all of that needs timing. You need to do it on a time-sensitive network. So that is uh, driving the innovation. And you can see with the collaborations that we've done there with Panasonic Connect or with PixelU, with other manufacturers, that it's all coming together now. Uh, really being driven by the need for this uh, immersive experience. So AI plays a role as, as well. I see it in content generation a lot. I see it in troubleshooting. Um, I think you will see products that use AI to communicate with people in the store and then change the video and the audio in the store based on the conversation that the AI is holding with you. I think it'd be nice if uh, uh, we break the, the, the what's called a Turing test and you feel like you're there and you totally like, it's like yeah. a different world and you're yeah. there and it's all realistic and it's all connected. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. But thank you so much. All right. Thank you very Thank you. much, guys. Come check out netgear.com slash AV for all your AV over IP knowledge and questions.